vocabulary for a growth mindset lesson would be both growth mindset and fixed mindset. Believing you can grow and shape your mind to grow stronger and smarter is a growth mindset. A fixed mindset means that you can't change. It means believing you are born able to do things or not able to do things in that you cannot change your brain. Growth when thinking about what it might feel like to have both a growth mindset and a fixed mindset, here are some ideas. A growth mindset means that you know that mistakes will happen, that you work on skills to improve old talents and you gain new ones. Feeling off <laughs> success when making an achievement. It kind of means that when you have a growth mindset, you're always trying to achieve more. Now, when you go to a fixed mindset, it means that you have talents, but you fear to work on new ones. You're always fearing to fail. You appear to be confident means that you, you feel like other people think that you're doing very, very well and you're very proficient on things, but you hide your feelings of fear and anxiety. I have a few questions before we start our video lesson. I want you to think, what mindset does this little girl have? Think of examples from the video that support your thoughts. Can you relate to how she is feeling? Think of a reason or experience that can help you to relate to her. And then the last one, is making a mistake a bad thing? I want you to really think about these questions before and after you watch this video. You may click on the link and watch the video now, and then be sure to return to the PowerPoint. The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes For Beatrice Bottomwell, Friday began like any other day. She matched her socks, and of course she put her shoes on their proper feet. You remember to feed her hamster comfort, she was amazing food and broccoli, and the chewing the sandwich from her brother Carl's lunch and cheese and that made them out of the butter and that gem. When she stepped outside to greet her fan, she didn't forget to say good morning to me and thank you. They asked to make her bed. She had a big act. She forgot to do her run. Nope. What about tonight's talent show, they asked. I'm ready, said Beatrice with a smile. After all, her juggling act had won three years in a row. Most people on tab didn't even know Beatrice's name. They just called her the girl who never makes a mistake. Because for as long as anyone could remember, she never did it. Unlike Beatrice, Carl made lots of mistakes. He ate his crayons and drew with great things. He danced with his hands and played the piano with his feet. Carl loved to make mistakes. At school, Beatrice was on a cooking team with her two best friends, Millie and Sarah. To make their giant rhubarb muffins, they needed four eggs. Beatrice went to the refrigerator and carefully chose the biggest, eggiest egg she could find. But on the way back, her legs slipped out from under her. The eggs went flying. Beatrice was about to make her first mistake. But she didn't. That was close, thought Beatrice. Sorry, Beatrice, I dropped a piece of rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the rest of the school day, Beatrice could not stop thinking about her almost mistake. On her way home from school, Beatrice watched Millie and Sarah ice skating in the park. Come join us, said Millie. It's fun, said Sarah. Beatrice watched them slip and slide in the frozen pond. Millie and Sarah laughed as they wobbled on the ice. No thanks, said Beatrice. At supper, Beatrice barely touched her food. Is everything all right, kiddo? asked her father. I'm worried I'll mess up tonight, said Beatrice, and everyone will be watching. Worry? You don't make mistakes, he said with a smile. Beatrice tried to smile, too. 
After supper, Beatrice got ready for the talent show. First, she woke Cumber from his nap. Next, she got the salt shaker from the kitchen table. Finally, she filled a balloon with water. The school auditorium was packed. Beatrice felt her stomach jumping around inside her. Beatrice waited for her juggling music to begin. That's her! That's the girl who never makes mistakes, said a woman. Oh, we know she'll be perfect, said a man. When the music started, she tossed Humbert into the air. Next, she added the salt shaker and finally the water balloon. Beatrice didn't miss a beat. The crowd clapped with delight, but Beatrice noticed something odd about the salt shaker. The specks falling out were not white. Oh! Uh, Humbert was so surprised by his sneeze that he grabbed the water balloon with his claws. Kabooey! Humbert, pieces of water balloon, and the pepper rained down on top of Beatrice. For the first time, in as long as anyone could remember, Beatrice made a mistake. And it was a big one. The music stopped. Beatrice didn't know what to do. Cry? Run off the stage? The crowd sat stunned. They couldn't believe that the girl who never makes mistakes made a mistake. Beatrice looked up at Humber. He looked back at her. His hamster fur was soaked in speckled with bits of balloon. Beatrice let out a giggle. The giggle grew into a chuckle, and the chuckle became a laugh. The people in the crowd looked at each other and then back at Beatrice. They began to giggle, then chuckle, then finally roar with laughter. Beatrice and the audience laughed until they couldn't remember why they were laughing. That night, Beatrice slept better than she ever had. In the morning, no fans greeted Beatrice. When she got dressed, Beatrice, for no reason at all, put a polka dot sock on one foot and a flat sock on the other. Beatrice and Carl made sandwiches. This time, they put the peanut butter and jelly on the outside. They called it an inside-out PB&J. Lunch was messy and delicious. Later, Beatrice found Millie and Sarah skating in the park. They fell a lot and laughed. Now, people no longer call her the girl who never makes mistakes. They just call her Beatrice. Now that you have watched the video, these are some questions that we're going to discuss in class tomorrow. They're the same ones as before that I asked you to think about. What mindsets does she have? I want you to be prepared to give at least one example from the video that supports your thoughts. Can you relate to how she is feeling? Maybe in your past, recently, today even? Think of a reason or experience that helps you relate. Be sure and be ready to share. And then the last one is making a mistake a bad thing. I want you to be able to explain why or why not and then either give an experience from your own life or an experience um, that you observed in the video.